I still run my research lab, but at a much reduced uh, level than I used to. My work has always focused on the complications of cancer treatment, particularly those that involve radiation, but also drugs, because they are the mainstays of treating cancer. And, and the issue with treating cancer with a systemic treatment like drugs, or even focused treatment like radiation, is that normal tissues are in the way, and they're unavoidably treated. And the agents we use kill cells. So they kill cells of normal tissues as well as of tumors. And so the whole goal is to balance those two things up so that you kill more of the tumor cells than the normal tissue cells because we, the normal tissues are necessary. A few years ago, a position for Associate Vice President for Women Faculty Programs was announced. And I've always uh, been a champion for women. I've always been interested in equality. Um, and I've always worked behind the scenes, and not, along with a number of the other women faculty. And um, I thought, what a great opportunity to, you know, to have it be my day job. And so I decided to apply. We had a national search, and I was fortunate enough to be given this position. And so what I do is I work on recruiting women, on retaining our women faculty, on promoting our women faculty. Uh, one of my goals, uh, both, you know, both for the office as well as for uh, my own personal goal, is to get more women into leadership positions. It was not an easy decision to go, you know, to reduce my level of commitment to the lab and to go into a, a more administrative position. But, you know, for me, this new position is a different way of giving back to the community. Uh, I call it paying it forward, like in the movie. And to me, it's a different legacy to leave. And uh, to see you know, other women be successful is, uh, I think, um, for me right now, what I really am enjoying.